right, guys, welcome into the Aftershock. I'm packing up my gear here, and uh, it took forever for this thing to connect, so if it uh, has a glitch, let me know. But hopefully it, uh, it works well for everybody. So the Aftershock is uh, a time when you can ask questions that maybe we didn't get to on the air. Um, if you wanted some clarification on things that we talked about, we can certainly do that for you as well. Uh, also, it's kind of cool because you can uh, you can ask questions and I'll answer things that maybe I wouldn't answer on the air. You know, things that aren't exactly pertinent to uh, to what we're doing on the program, but uh, good questions nevertheless. A little shock trivia, whatever you want to do. So, welcome, Mary. Good to have you. Feel free to ask away, guys. I haven't done one of these in a couple weeks, so I feel like I owe you some time here. So I'm gonna keep working on what I need to do over here. I gotta get uh, Ken his information sent over to Christine so that she can get him his certificate. He's the Sunday winner. It's Ken and his phone number. I'm not going to say it out loud because all the ladies will call him. Uh, da, da, da. Whoop, that's Dale's phone number. That would be embarrassing. Um, who's Ken? <laughs> Jake from State Farm. All right. All right, guys. So this is the time. Let me think. It's funny stuff that happened in the, show, in the store. If you haven't seen the picture on Facebook, we got a computer in. And it was super funny because... What ended up happening is we were we were doing something with the with a Mac and we had to boot off a flash drive and we have a flash drive. We thought we had the flash drive that we needed for for Apple, but it was actually the, a Windows 10 1809 flash drive we were using to upgrade people's computers. So we plugged the wrong flash drive in and it tried to boot into Windows and install Windows on the Mac, which was hilarious because we had this MacBook Pro sitting there with a Windows error message on the screen. So we took a picture of it, put it on Facebook. That was kind of funny. So if you missed that one, you can check that out on Facebook. It was pretty pretty interesting. All righty, people are filing in here. We're up to 19 now. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else did we have this week in the shop? It was it was a hectic week. We, I'm, I'm not joking, guys. We sold through cases of solid state hard drives this week. Um, it got to the point where it was kind of, you know, in Lincoln, you know, I'm talking to customers and we're literally going through, I can't keep solid states in stock. As I'm selling one, I'm ordering a replacement. And so we have this like this cycle going where we're getting them in every day. We have just when we run out, it's almost like just in time inventory. Whoop, they start coming back in. Um, so then it got to the point where actually we were ordering enough of a quantity at one time that they were sending them in like sealed case boxes. And solid state hard drives are really tiny. So to get a case of them, I mean that's like a small box. It's it's not super impressive in a picture. That's why we didn't take a picture. But it's still, I mean, that's a lot of solid states. But then Lincoln and Omaha, they weren't they weren't doing them. They weren't selling them nearly as often. Or excuse me, Omaha and Papillion weren't selling them nearly as often as Lincoln was. So I thought, well, maybe you know, my staff in Lincoln or in Omaha and Papillion maybe weren't offering them. Um, and you know, basically, a customer comes in, says the computer's slow. Everyone says their computer is slow. So it kind of becomes noise in the background. And then you do the maintenance check upon it, and it's faster than it was before, but it's really not fast. Uh, but a solid state would really speed it up. And so, you know, I went into the shops and I, I, you know, I worked with Parker specifically. I was like, Parker, watch this. And he was like, Thor, I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting the solid states to customers, but nobody wants them. And I'm like, oh, come on. There's got to be something wrong with the way you're saying it because every single person I talk to wants this. <clears throat> so I said, okay, give me a work order. And this is either gonna this is either gonna make me look like a god, <laughs> or it's gonna fail miserably. It's gonna be bad. So give me a work order. So it gets the work order, and sure enough, it says on their computer slow maintenance checkup 1809 update, which is what everything was in for this week. And I call the customer back, and I tell them about the solid state hard drive, and they take it. All right, Ooh, close one. Here you go, Parker. There you go. Give me another work order. It gives me another work order. Same thing on this work order. Computer is slow. Hey, uh, you know, solid state hard drive. Okay, oh, great, great. I'll do it. Here you go, Parker. Give me another work order. So the third one, this one had nothing on it about being slow at all. Um, so I went over and I looked at the computer, and it, it was reasonably quick. It wasn't terribly slow, but it wasn't, on the other hand, super fast either. So I called the customer up, and I'm like, have you noticed the computer slowing down over the last six months? And they're like, yeah, it used to be like instantaneously responsive, and now I have to like wait three seconds when I click on things. And that's really annoying. I'm like, you're a man after my own heart. You know, let me tell you about a solid state hard drive. And then he decided to do it. And sure enough, he gets instant, instantaneous back again. And he's super happy. Um, so it, it, like I said, guys, if you have a computer, I'm not trying to, to, to sabotage sales of holiday specials here. But, you know, every computer you buy at Schrock now has a solid state hard drive in it. And that's one of the neat things. If you get the solid state hard drive in your computer now, and let's say you use it for another year, year and a half before you decide to buy a new Schrock computer, we can put that solid state in your new computer because all of our computers come with solid states. So instead, you can buy the solid state one time 
And then when you get a new computer, you can say, I don't need a solid state in there because I have one. Can I get a credit back or can I apply that toward maybe a renewal of something or a data transfer or something else? Absolutely, we can do that for you. So it, it's really neat. You can carry it over into your new computer. So that's kind of cool. So uh, if you're one of those people out there that's been suffering with a slow computer, I mean, this is like, I've, I've been looking for a way that we can do some kind of a Viagra like spin-off commercial, you know, because it's like, you know how we do the Jimmy John's commercial during the show where it's like a, a rip off of Jimmy John's, like, you know, computers repair so fast, you'll freak kind of thing. Well, what if we had like, is your computers not performing the way you'd like? Is your hard drive a little slower than it used to be? <laughs> you know, has your computer been patched to death? Well, guess what? You don't have to be ashamed of your underperforming computer any longer. And they, I mean, we can go, oh, but there's no way to keep it clean. Like, it always devolves into, like, something inappropriate. So that's like a commercial I could play during the Aftershock, maybe. <laughs> but probably, and it might be fine on KFAB, but I don't know that the listeners on, on KFOR and Lincoln would like that because they're a different kind of listener. You know, I, I, if I say... Uh, well, some customer called in about some complaint they had about Microsoft, and it was a legit complaint. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's just asinine. And, oh, my gosh, I, I got complaint calls that, uh, that people, you can't say ass on the radio. And then, yeah, the, at that time it was Dale Johnson on KFO. I was like, yeah, he goes, we go through training. Like, we can't say harass, like sexual harassment. We have to say sexual harassment because we can't say ass. And I'm like, and this is back when I was a pup. I had no idea. I'm like, that's. That's asinine. <laughs> That's a real word. Just because it has it has three letters in it that match another word. Oh my gosh! But it's legit. It's real. You can't say those kind of things on the radio. So uh, so yeah, fun times there. But, uh, but yeah, so if you've been suffering with a computer that's running slower, you know, it might be time to to take a look at the solid state option if that's something you want to do. And we're we're slowing down now from the update, so it's a good time to bring it in if you want to. All right, Mark asks, does installing a solid state hard drive include transferring the data? Excellent question. Yes. All right, so there's this cost of the hardware, and then there's one hour of labor. Um, the hour of labor is for us to clone your hard drive. So we actually take your hard drive and clone it over to the solid state, which normally is a really simple procedure when you're going from like a one terabyte hard drive to another one terabyte hard drive. But you're not buying a one terabyte solid state because that would be stupid expensive. So most people only use about 80 gigs of data on their computer at most. So 120 to a 240 gig solid state is really all you need. 150, $200 for the, the hardware, and then one hour of labor for us to clone it over. We shrink the partitions down so it all fits. You don't lose anything. The computer looks and acts and behaves just like it did before you brought it in. All your saved passwords are there. All your files are there. Everything is good to go. The only difference is the computer is wicked fast now because it's got that solid state hard drive. We even had a guy that came in with a Windows XP laptop and had us put a Windows XP, a solid state in his Windows XP laptop because he was using it to run some piece of industrial machinery that was super expensive, but he wanted the laptop to be faster because it was so incredibly slow. So we put the solid state in there and even on Windows XP, it was like, I mean, it was just flying. It was amazing. So yeah, it can dramatically improve performance. How big? does an SS, how big can you get? You need a, Ray, you need a four terabyte solid state? Four terabytes, Ray, for real? Okay, so you can get a four terabyte solid state. Just for the sake of discussion, let me tell you what kind of a house mortgage payment you're going to need to get a four terabyte solid state. And this is going to be, this is going to be big. Let's see, uh, solid state drives, internal solid state. All right, here we go. All right, this is the over one terabyte column. The biggest one they offer is a four terabyte solid state. So we're going to look at that one first. I'm going to sort by price if that's okay with you. Okay. The Oh, my gosh. Okay, a four terabyte solid state. I'm just going to tell you our cost on this because the only, the only company that makes them is Samsung. And Samsung makes like their expensive solid states, but they're the best. Um, that our, our cost, what we would pay for the drive is, uh, $1,050 for the, for a hard drive, just for the hard drive. So yeah, we're going to mark that up a little bit and then we're going to put the hour of labor on there. So I really don't know that you need a four terabyte solid state. So what a lot of people get confused about solid states, 
do you need a solid state drive to hold all of your information or can you get away with getting like a smaller solid state and putting your Windows operating system on it and your programs on it and then I'm guessing you have a lot of media like video files we can move those video files off onto a secondary hard drive a mechanical hard drive that's much less expensive per terabyte of storage than a solid state so you get the same speed benefit of booting fast and operating quickly along with the storage that that larger hard drive would offer obviously in a laptop you usually have spot for one hard drive so you can't do that if it's a laptop and you need four terabytes you have to go the expensive way but if it's a desktop we have some ways around that we can put multiple hard drives in the computer solid state to make things fast large rotating disk to hold all your stuff and an even larger rotating disk to back all your stuff up which is important to have a backup a lot of people don't realize we can uh, we can put a backup hard drive in your old computer in fact if you wanted us to we could take your solid state in your desktop or take your your old hard drive in your desktop clone it to the solid state leave the old hard drive in there potentially and make it a backup drive uh, it's an extra hour of labor to set all that up, but we can certainly do that for you. All right. Let's see next up. Please coordinate with Eric. I know, Carolyn, I've, I've been trying. Um, I, my understanding was Eric had a great conversation with the Papillion Service Center, so I was under the impression that he was taken care of. Uh, if that's not the case, please let me know. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, there was an email that said he had a great conversation with the staff in Lincoln and, or in uh, Papillion, and uh, they were very helpful and knowledgeable and answered all of his questions. So I was under the impression that Eric was all taken care of. So uh, if that's not the case, let me know, and I'll, I'll get him some help. Um, assassinate says it twice. <laughs> A-S-S-A-S, assassinate. Uh, oh, golly. I have external. What about two terabyte? Okay, so here's the thing. With external hard drives, um, you don't always get the benefit, okay? So your external hard drive is limited by the speed of your USB connection. If you have a USB 3 connection, you'll get a little bit of a speed boost by having a solid state hard drive in an external enclosure. Bottom line, I would, um, the only reason you put a solid state in an external enclosure is because you're afraid of uh, G-Shock damage. Uh, so in other words, if, if you're in an environment where it's going to be bouncing around, we have some customers uh, that do construction for, for a business and they were going through laptops like every other week because it's bouncing around on the seat of the truck while they're driving and they're trying to use it while they're driving. I don't know, but they were, it was left running while it bounces around and that was wreaking havoc on the mechanical hard drive. So we replaced it with a solid state. And now he doesn't have that problem. You could, you could frisbee the thing across the room and it won't hurt the hard drive. Now, if you want that kind of resilience in a solid, in an external drive, a solid state would do that. But again, your, your speed benefit isn't going to be that dramatic. Um, if you're on a laptop and it's an external, you're probably, I, I wouldn't do it. A two terabyte will be roughly half the cost. So, you know, five, 600 bucks uh, cost side, you know, there'll be a little bit of a markup on there. And then there's going to be an hour of labor to transfer everything. Um, so we'll, we'll do it for you. I just don't know that it, if it was my external hard drive, I would not put a two terabyte solid state or a four terabyte solid state in an external enclosure. It just, it, it wouldn't work for me. Uh, I, I wouldn't spend the money on it. All right. Should solid state drives have paging files for virtual memory? My computer was just shut down saying there was low virtual memory condition. Okay. The, the virtual memory condition, yes, they will have a paging file. And yes, they can be used as virtual memory. And yes, they are much faster than a rotating disk. So they will be able to use virtual memory uh, much more efficiently. Uh, so, but what virtual memory is, let's break this down. It's virtual memory, not real memory. It's almost as good as memory which means your computer is out of RAM memory. You need more RAM. You don't need a bigger hard drive, you need RAM memory. Um, because the number of programs you're running and the number of things your computer is doing in the background while you have it booted up is too much for the available system memory. So it's using your hard drive as memory instead, which can make computers incredibly slow. If you have a solid state, we've made your computer incredibly fast, so it's only marginally slower using virtual memory. But if you're getting errors saying it's using your whole solid state for virtual memory, it might be time to upgrade the system RAM, put another chip in there. You, know, you probably only have four gigs of RAM. We should probably get you up to eight or 16, depending on what you're doing with the computer. Um, by the way, the uh, holiday special laptop specs are in. Uh, this year's holiday special laptop, they're uh, on a plane on the way to the service center right now. Uh, the demo models are where we're going to evaluate them one last time, make all of our adjustments to them. But once it's all done, uh, it is going to be a Dell unit again this year. 
Um, they are going to be ultra thin laptops this year. We're talking uh, they're two in one. So just pretty much, if I can show you the laptop that I have here, but basically it, it folds like a tent. So it sits like a laptop like this, and then you can bend it. Oh, this is not natural. So you can be like this or like this, you know, so you can, you can tent it up. So if you're doing a presentation, you can present to the people in front of you. You can, you, you, the hinge folds all the way back so you can bend it flat if you want to. You can fold it all the way around and hold it like a clipboard, like and touch it like a tablet. Um, it has a backlit keyboard. It has a 500 gigabyte solid state built in because all of Shox computers now come with solid states. Even though Dell doesn't sell it with a solid state, we take out Dell's oldie and we put in a solid state so that you get that speed. 16 gigs of RAM in the laptop, uh, which is amazing there. We're going to test upgradability to see how much higher we, if we can go up to 32 on there so, stably. Um, the desktop model, of course, comes with 32 and a one terabyte solid state in the desktop. So uh, the desktop is definitely uh, designed for more workhorse application. The laptop is designed more for portability and battery efficiency. Um, but it's an amazing laptop. The holiday special is going to be really cool this year. So if you're completely convinced that a solid state won't help your old computer that's worn out and tired, maybe because you're running Windows 7 on it. You know, keep in mind, you only have uh, one year and two months, or one year, one month, four, you know, 16 days that you can run Windows 7, and then you're going to have to buy a new computer or upgrade to Windows 10. And by the time you pay for the Windows 10 software and the labor to install it, you may as well buy a new computer. So bottom line, guys, if you're running Windows 7, the holiday special might be a real good call. You can wait till next year still but it might be something to look at. We're going to have more about that in the coming weeks. I found that if I talk about holiday special before Halloween, <laughs> people get a little tech, ticked off, so we try not to do that so much. All right, let's see. More questions. Let me scroll down. I have to scroll. Forgive me. Uh, he just piggybacked on your answer to my email. Eric piggybacked on my answer to your email. He replied? Is that what you're saying? Let me check. He just replied, I think is what she's trying to say. Bear with me just a sec, Carolyn. I'm going to open my email up here. I try to keep distractions to a minimum while I'm talking on the radio because you see, oh, there he is. Eric, I did not see a reply from your previous email that my mom sent to me. We would like to get it. Okay, gotcha. We're on the same page. I apologize. I thought Eric was all taken care of and that was not the case, so I will get him taken care of. All right. Diane, you have 24 gigs of RAM and you're having virtual memory problems. Wow. Okay. Um, that shouldn't be happening unless you're doing some really crazy stuff like AutoCAD crazy stuff with your computer. Um, so first of all, if we installed the solid state for you, um, everything should be okay because it's brand new. But if you don't have Drive Advisor, do install Drive Advisor. It's also possible, uh, even though you have 24 gigs of memory, uh, especially if you're running older software that was not designed for Windows 10, uh, and you're making it run, you're patching it along. This is the case a lot of times with older um, uh, AutoCAD, Adobe Photoshop, things like that, the older versions that people paid for and have the disks for, and they don't want to pay for it again, so they're trying to use it as long as they can. Um, on modern computers, those programs can develop memory leaks. And a memory leak is when memory is allocated to a program to be used for some specific purpose, but then when the program is done with what it's doing, it never gives the memory back to the system to use for something else. So um, it basically continues to leak memory into the program until the program is using all the available memory, no matter how much memory you have. That could be a very well possibility. The way you solve that is you restart the computer periodically. <clears throat> so normally I'm, I'm an advocate for leaving the computer on all the time. But if you're doing something that's super advanced with the computer um, or you're using an older program and there's a memory leak, you might have to restart more often than that, You know, maybe once every few days or once a week or so to solve that problem. Okay, so I can run the Windows 10 October update. You can certainly do that. Yes, you can. You go ahead and run it. Um, like I said, now we're just down to the normal 20% of people will experience problems. Um, the data bug has been fixed. It's deleting people's files. Um, and if you have an HP, it might result in a blue screen, but we don't know yet. They're looking into that right now. Uh, if you don't have an HP, you'll probably be fine. Um, if you have safe upgrade, run safe upgrade again. Let it go through and do its thing. And then uh, if it doesn't work, give us a call in the shop, and then we'll help you out over the Internet, or you can bring it in. Keith wants you to run Linux, and I hear you, Keith. I hear you clucking. 
you know, I installed Ubuntu for fun one time and then uh, the fun was over after about a half an hour and I got rid of it because it, it blew. So <laughs> <clears throat> each to their own. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> Ray asks, so for a three-year-old Asus all-in-one, one terabyte solid state, bump RAM to max, 32 gigs, sounds more appropriate. Hey, that sounds like a kick-butt computer, Ray. That would, that would be amazing. One terabyte solid states are great. Um, and that, that, that'll make all-in-ones can get hard drive upgrades too. Uh, Macs, your older Macs guys, they don't have solid states in them. We can put a solid state in your Mac and it will fly. It's amazing. So bottom line, no matter what your computer is, if it has a mechanical hard drive, if we put a solid state in there, it will be faster. Bottom line. All right, last call for questions, guys. Adobe programs would do this with virtual memory and I haven't... Oh, yeah, so the lovely Kimberly does, uh, she has the subscription to the Adobe program, so she always has the most recent one with all the most recent patches, and we pay, like, I think it's like $56 a month to have access to all the programs. Um, but then, you know, some people, back in the day, if you ever bought a copy of Photoshop, for example, you remember, like, Photoshop's like a $900 program, and you use that program as long as you can for two reasons. Number one, you paid $900 for it. Number two... Every time they come up with a new version, they add new features and change all the shortcuts and everything. So you get really good at using the old program. And then when you upgrade, you have that month of like, how do I do that again? And they move this menu over here and this keyboard shortcut doesn't work anymore. And then the, as uh, the lovely Kimberly was pointing out to me, uh, she was working on the catalogs for, uh, for Schrock. And she's like, this is the shortcuts that work in Adobe Photoshop are completely different than the shortcuts that work in Adobe Illustrator. And those are completely different than the shortcuts that work in Adobe InDesign. And she was lamenting the fact that why on earth can't Adobe just synchronize everything and make it easy for everybody? So yeah, fun times, fun times, guys. All right, last call for questions. Here we go. If you got one, I can go ahead and take it for you. If not, I strongly suspect I'm going to need to order some more solid state hard drives. That wasn't my intent today on the radio, but I think, and then it was, it was really, Thank you guys that popped on afterward and were like, you know, hey, I just had the solid state put into my computer and it was amazing. It's one thing to hear me say that, but what, what we're doing, maybe this is why we sell more in Lincoln because we literally when I call a customer, they'll be like, yeah, your computer takes like two minutes to boot. And like, wow, you got it to boot in two minutes and they're genuinely excited. Like, that's amazing. And I'm like, Oh, gosh, how bad was it before the update? Because we, we did a maintenance check up on it. So now it's down. We, it was like four or five minutes, and we got it down to two. That's amazing. Guess what? We can get it even faster with a solid state. And they say, okay. And then it boots in like six seconds, and you call them back. And I just love doing this. All right, all right, we got the solid state installed. Everything is good. If you had to guess how fast your computer boots now, how fast do you think it boots? And they're like, oh, gosh. It would just be a godsend if it, if it would get up and running in like 30, 40 seconds. And I'm like, how about six? And they're like, you're kidding me. They don't say kidding, though. They say another word. You're kidding me. Like, nope, nope, not kidding. It's that fast. And then you go out front and they're like, no, I don't believe you. And you turn it on for them and it's like, Bloop, and you're like, oh, and then it was hilarious because I went to Microsoft pushed out this little update they did to, to fix the data they, fix, they put out an update that you install on version 18.09 that prevents version 18.09 from deleting the data when you upgrade to it. But if you're already on 18.09 and you still have your data, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. So that update came down. And so I shut her computer down and I turned it on for her. I want to open it up. So I pushed the power button, expecting it to boot in like six, 10 seconds. And it decides it has to do an update, right? And I'm like, oh, of course it's going to blow it up and make me do an update and make me look all bad now. But it is like update 1%, 2%, 10%, 50%, 90%, 100%, update complete. And she was like, that's the fastest I've ever seen that update screen go. It was like, it was like a whole, and then it was booted. It took like 35 seconds with an update. But, uh, and then I restarted it again just to show her the six seconds. But it was, it was phenomenal. It was hilarious. She, she enjoyed it. So, all right. All right, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free. You can bounce them to the email in the service centers. Uh, you can always email me as well, Thor, T-H-O-R, at schrockinnovations.com. Um, if you want the solid state hard drive in your computer, we're carrying 120 gig solid states, 240 gig solid states, and 480 gig solid states. So the numbers are a little different. Just think 120, 250, 500. 
That's what it is. And what we do is we look at how much space you're using on your hard drive now. And then we want to make sure you have enough room to grow. So if you're using, you know, 80 gigs of data on your hard drive, we're not going to put you in 120 gig solid state because you're only going to have 40 gigs and you're going to use that up just in updates. So we're going to put you in the 240. If you, if you, but if you only have 30 gigs of data on your hard drive, a 120 is perfect for you. It's the cheapest one. We save you some money and the computer runs like a champ. Um, you get a one year warranty on the solid state so that if you uh, decide, you know, hey, if something goes wrong and the hard drive fails, because of course we're going to install Drive Advisor for you too, and it monitors the health of the solid state just like a regular hard drive. If it comes back and says it's going to die, We'll replace it for free, clone it over for free for you, the whole bit. So uh, you can check that out at the service centers anytime. Uh, we have those hard drives in stock. We have them coming in every day. So even if we're out of stock one day, just give it a day. More will come in. We usually sell pretty low on the weekend. And then by Tuesday, I think we had a stack like this tall of, of 240 gig solid states ready to go on people's computers. We were like <laughs> putting them in all the computers over here. But, uh, but yeah, it worked out real well. All right, guys, I got to run. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Thank you for sticking with us for the Aftershock. I appreciate it. Please share the program with your friends. Uh, like it, share it. Also, if you want to be made aware uh, when we're doing Facebook Lives, when there's a pressing thing happening, like, oh, my gosh, it's time to launch your safe upgrade, I will do a Facebook Live for that. If you click the uh, the like button, um, it will, and especially if you like our page, if you like the Shock page, to become a fan but if you click the like button here I can invite you to like the page in the future so go ahead and click the like button that way I can add you and then you can you can respond it'll show up as a notification that Troc Innovations has invited you to like the page and you can like it and then we can make sure you get those notifications when there's something super important that needs to happen we don't do it very often but when there's something big we'll use a Facebook live to really get in front of people and let them know thanks a lot have a great weekend guys we'll talk to you again next Sunday